Kia ora everyone and welcome back to another video of Kiwi Investments. A few of you have been asking for a portfolio update video. So here it is, but with a plot twist. I always try and think of ways to make my videos more interesting. So I will not only do a portfolio update, but I will invest an additional 58,500 New Zealand dollars into the stock market. Now that's a lot of money. In fact, it is more than the median income in New Zealand, which is just under $27 per hour as of mid 2021. And that comes after 56,160 per year based on someone working 40 hours per week. And this is before any tax deductions. So this is a big investment. It might turn out great or you all might see me lose a lot of money and we will track it to see how well it is doing over the next few years. In this video, I will show you my Seishi's portfolio and then invest an additional 7,000 New Zealand dollars into it. Now this particular video you're watching right now is filmed over a month. So we will see how well that $7,000 has done. In the next video, I will show you my Tiger Brokers portfolio and then invest an additional 9,000 New Zealand dollars through that platform. Then in the video after that, I will show you my stake portfolio and invest an additional 2,500 New Zealand dollars. And finally, the big one in the fourth video, I will show you my hedge portfolio and invest an additional 40,000 New Zealand dollars. So make sure to hit the like button if you're interested in seeing these kinds of things. Make sure you hit that bell icon as well so that you get notified and you won't miss out on my next videos when I upload them. And I don't post regularly so I won't annoy you with all those notifications. I will tell you why my investment through stake is relatively small and why my investment through hedge is much bigger in those respective videos. But my regular viewers who have been following me for a while could already probably guess why. This video is about Seishis. If you want free $5 from Seishis, then use the link in the description to sign up to Seishis. If you use that link, Seishis will give you an instant $5 into your account. Matter of fact, I have similar referral links to all the brokers mentioned above. So check out the links in the description to get yourself some free money. Alright, let's get on with this video. So here we are signing to my Seishis portfolio. And as you can see, my total portfolio value is $42,106 in New Zealand dollars. The total amount of my own money that I have put in is 38,000 which has given me a return of over 12% which means I have gotten about $4,000 in return and that is if I decided to sell all my stocks in my portfolio right now I would get about 4.8 thousand but I'm not going to do that I'm going to keep holding on to it so this return should continue to go up at least that's the idea of it here's a spoiler alert by the end of this video, this return would have increased to more than $6,500, so keep watching to find out how that happened. Are all these graphics a bit too much? Well, I don't care, I wanted to learn how to do it. If you have a look at the chart, you will see the history. So the value at the top is how much I have put in of my own money and the figure at the bottom is my return on that money. As you can see, in August 2020, I have invested about $36,000 into Seishis and my return was minus 1.5 thousand. And as time went on, my returns got better and better so I kept depositing more money. So now I have invested 37,000 and my total return was minus 700. And as my returns got better and better, I deposited maybe another thousand dollars and my returns have been in the positives ever since then. And as time went on, my returns got bigger and bigger without me having to do anything. And I've been depositing little bits of money whenever I can. Let's close out of that and let's have a look at my wallet. And as you can see, I have deposited $7,000 today to show you that I'm going to invest it. As I move down, you will see that I've been very passive about my investing. I have not been actively investing. I have just been passively investing and I've been collecting the dividends and the return of the share price movements. So it's all just been dividends, 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 dividends and more dividends. And that's where this $278.30 came from. So that's all just been dividends that I have been collecting. So what am I going to do with the dividends? I'm going to reinvest it because I don't need the money now. First of all, let's come back to the portfolio and see what we can invest in. So as I move down, you see that 90% of my investments are at a higher risk. There's 0% in lower risk. I don't really pay attention to this much. You can lower the risk as long as you do your research. The first company you see is Adobe. 
And that's the only company I have in my Seishi's portfolio that is American. The only reason why I bought into this is to show you how to buy into American stocks through Seishi's. And that was for a video I uploaded a long time ago. And since then, this stock has gone up 35%. So that's a decent return. I also have Air New Zealand. I traded it a lot during the pandemic, but I'm now going to hold on to it. And that has given me a return of 3.6%. Air New Zealand is New Zealand's only major airline company and the government won't let it disappear. As some of you would know, the government has stepped in before to bail out the company when it ran into trouble. I have talked about Air New Zealand before on this channel, especially about their new CEO. So let's move on to the next talk, which is ANZ. Bought it because it's one of the biggest banks in New Zealand and Australia, and it has given me a return of 2.9%. Avida Group, I mentioned when I was going to buy that in a previous video and since that video it has gone up by 51%. Bliss Technology is a biotech company. I bought it because it sounded like they were about to make big moves over in America but it hasn't been doing well for me. And Briscoe's Group is up 51%. So I've been happy with Briscoe's Group so far. I may invest a little bit more money into it but we'll see how we go. As we come down, there's some more stocks. I'm not going to go through all of them otherwise this video would be too long. Ebos is up 38%. If you have a look at it, Ebos is a large distributor of healthcare and animal care products. Come down a bit. It's been doing really well ever since I bought it, even though the previous managing director has said some pretty weird things. I think for entrepreneurs, and I consider myself and part an entrepreneur as well, you've got to drop your pants every six months. What? And you're exposed to the world. So I'd had some exposure. It was actually a tiny guy. I thought it was fundamentally too small. To Come on, man. But this guy has done well transforming Ebos into the bigger company it is today. I always try and research the senior team of companies when I am investing. It is something that most people don't or even think about. But I do it because these are the people you are expecting to make the right decisions, which will in turn grow your money. If we come back if you go to your investments it gives you a little bit more details so i put down four thousand dollars my return was 38 percent which is a return of a thousand five hundred dollars so i'm happy with that i don't want to put in any more money for this one so i'll just leave it at that and let it continue to grow over time and by time i mean years freight race is doing really well 24 percent 57 percent Kiwi Property Group, which owns places such as Sylvia Park and Linmore, as well as office buildings, is not doing well right now because of that pandemic. Online shopping and people working from home is what had to happen, unfortunately, for Kiwi Property Group. For me, Kiwi Property Group is down 22%. Uh, main freight is up by 29% and I think I'll put more money into this later on in the video. Next up, we have the biggest gainer in my Seishi's portfolio. My investment into MHM automation, which makes those automated systems and equipment, has given me a 144% return on my investment, just in a little over an year. <laughs> but hang on, if you have a look at that, it's an impressive return, but I only put down $10. So $10, 144%, that's a return of $14. But hey, I'm still happy. That's still 144% return on my money. Should I have invested more? Well, well, that depends on the situation. If you had enough money to comfortably invest at that time, then yeah. But only invest what you're comfortable with losing. If I keep coming down, Pacific Edge is a company that I made a video on as I was investing in it. So if you have a look at the graph here, turn it into five years. I bought in before this big jump because I had a suspicion that it'll do great in the pandemic. And it did. My suspicion was right. So I bought in some more. And after the jump, I bought a lot more as well. And this is when I made the video saying I was right about my suspicion and why my suspicions was right. And I held on to them and the company has just been doing really well. So overall, I put down $1,087. My return has been $1,029, which is pretty good. And these are all the limits buys that I have bought. If I come back, this was an IPO. So I'm still trying to get back up. I'm not a fan of investing in IPOs. IPOs just come with too much uncertainty, which I don't like. There is a lot to consider. Like can the management team handle it? How much experience is behind this business? How will the company grow with competition around? What has the company proven? And what are the speculations? There are just so much to consider. Moving on, we have another property stock and that's not doing well as well. And that has gone down because of the pandemic and it hasn't fully recovered yet. But next Next to it is a private land property fund and that's doing quite well. Push play is up by 6% exactly and as I mentioned earlier, I made a video about why I'm investing in Pacific Edge and at the same time I said I was investing in QEX as well but that stock has gone down 47%. 
And that's because millions worth of products were stolen from their warehouse in China. So those are things that you just can't predict. And those are things that can massively impact your share price. And that's what happened to QEX and that's what happened to me. But not only that, QEX is currently suspended from trading due to non-compliance with the NZX listing rules. QEX intention is to now delist from the New Zealand stock market. So this has been a very bad investment for me and I'm not afraid to show it so that you can learn from my mistakes and make better informed decisions. Sika had an impressive return for me which is 45%. Sky Television has done well for me. My investment into that has gone up 16.2%. The reason why I bought into this is because they announced their plan to go into the broadband business. And News like that can hype people up and I guess I was right about that. And then we have the ETFs, exchange traded funds. So all of my exchange traded funds are in the positives apart from the bond funds. So New Zealand government bond and global bonds are the only ones in the negative. The biggest return from the funds I have right now is my share Australia resource fund, which is up by 23%. All the other ones are a little bit smaller returns, so 0.7, 9%, 5%, 5%. 7%. If you keep coming down, we have 8% and 29%. Oh, 29% is better than 23%. Sorry, I didn't see that before. And then we also have Spark, which is up by 10%. Summers Group, which holds retirement villages, is up by 100%. And I told you why I invest in these companies. And that's because the baby boomers are retiring and moving into retirement villages. So those are needed. And as we keep coming down, we have Zed, who is struggling because of lack of demand for aviation fuel. People not using their cars because of the lockdowns and also the rise of electric vehicles. The share price of Zed Energy is struggling a little bit. Westpac has been struggling as well and I also have the warehouse group which is made up of the warehouse, the warehouse stationery, Torpedo 7, No Leaming, One Day and the market. The warehouse group has given me a return of 67%. So now let's go and invest our 7 grand. The first company that I want to buy into is Main Freight. I have briefly talked about Main Freight before in this channel. I think it has great international presence and I suspect their logistic and warehousing business will be in demand going into the future. So Main Freight, I have put in $527 before which has given me $292 but I want to increase my holdings in this company. So to buy stocks in Main Freight is really easy. You just have to click on buy down here. You can put market orders or limit orders. I just want to buy in. As you know, I always buy market orders and I'm going to invest $4,000 into this company and go review. It's going to show you the actual amount that you're going to invest because there is a transaction fee. And I have mentioned the transaction fee before. So it's 0.5 for the amounts invested under 3,000 and then 0.1 for the amounts invested over 3,000. I'm just going to go buy. True. Sure. And as that's buying, let's go invest the remaining $3,000. So as we come up here, it shows you that we have $3,278 remaining. The next company I want to buy is Fisher & Paykel. Don't think of Fisher & Paykel as a company that makes fridges, dishwashers and other household appliances. It is a company that makes vital healthcare products which I believe will be in demand going into the future. So if you have a look at how my Fisher & Paykel doing, I put down $2,120 which has given me $741 in return. I want to buy more of this company. I'm happy with the fundamentals of this company. I'm happy with what this company stands for. So let's go and buy some more. I'm gonna go buy market again. And this time I'm gonna put down $2,000. Go review, transaction fee is $9. So this is the amount that I'm actually gonna invest in Fisher & Paykel. Go buy. Sure. One order. So if you come back up, we have $1,278 remaining. I'm going to split the $1,000 into two five hundreds, and I'm going to invest it in the stock that has retirement villages. So that is Avida and Samaras. So I'll go invest $500 into Avida. If you have a look at how my stock is doing, I have put down $221, which has given me $114 in return. Let's go put $500 more to this, and it's that easy to invest in companies. Review, $2 transaction fee. Buy. Sure. Come back. Let's go down and look for Samaras. Bye. Oh wait, before we do that, I gotta show you something cool. So Samaras, I put down $145. I have gotten a 100.2% return, which means I got a return of $145.02. Not a bad profit. Let's go put some more. Market buy, 500. 
review. You may have noticed that I don't even actually look at where the share price is with these companies and that's because I really don't care. I just care about the company. I care about the fundamentals of the company. Do I believe in the company? Do I value the company? And if I do, I just buy into it and then I review it a few years down the line. We have $278 remaining to invest. If we have a look at our recent orders, we have our orders which is pending, partially filled. So let's get in there, order filled, order filled and order filled. Come back. I'm going to invest the remaining dividends into Briscoe's. If you come down, if you have a look at my investments, ever since I bought it, it's been going up. I'm happy with that. I'm only going to invest the remaining balance, which is $278. I like the company, but I don't like it that much. Go review $1.38 as a fee. Go buy. Sure. And that's it. So, so far we have invested $7,278 into stocks. So it's been a few seconds for you watching, but it has actually been a whole month for me. So you saw me depositing that $7,000 on the 10th of August and buying these five companies on the same day. Today is now the 11th of September. So it's actually been a month and a day. So we'll go see how well these five companies have been doing ever since I bought into them. So if you go to portfolio and you may have noticed that Seishis has already changed the graphics a little bit over the month. But anyways, my portfolio in Seishis is now $51,187.98. My return now is 14.56% and my dollar return amount is now $6,682. So it has gone up. Now we'll see how well those stocks that we bought are doing over just a short period of just a month. So if you come down first one is Avida let's have a look at that come down zoom in a bit it dipped after I bought it but it recovered and has gone up a little bit so if you come back up go your investment come down we put in $500 and we bought it around two dollars and nine cents per share the current share price is two dollars and thirteen cents so it has gone up and given me some money come back next one was Briscoe's group come down a bit this is when I initially bought it and as you can see it jumped up and gave me a really good return. And you saw me buying in after this big jump. But if you zoom in, on the day that I bought it, the share price closed at $6.25. After I bought it, it dipped as well, but it has gone up quite a bit. It is now trading around $6.89. So if we have a look at your investment again, I was up about $25 before I put in more money and now it is up $60. So that's an impressive gain for me. If we come back and have a look at the other ones that we bought, so we bought into Fish and Pikel. Come down, if we go five years, this is when I initially bought into the company. And as you can see, there was a big jump as well after I bought it. But ever since then, it hasn't been able to figure out where to go. If you zoom in again, it's the same. As soon as I bought it, it dipped, but it has recovered and now it's kind of going all over the place. If we have a look at your investment again, I was up around $756. After the investment, I'm up $714 come down if we have a look at that we bought at around 32 dollars and 90 cents per share it is currently 32 dollars and 80 cents but i'm still happy with that i'm happy to hold on to it main freight was the other one that we bought let's go five years just to show you something this is when i was buying into it this was the investment i made before what you saw and it has given me a pretty decent return and if you zoom in a little bit after i bought it it dipped as well but now it has gone up quite well if we go to your investment, I was up $292 before I made that investment. After I made that investment, I am up $839. We put in $4,000 and the average share price that we bought it at was $84.41. The current share price is now $94. So my suspicion about the company was right. Come down. And the last company was Summerist. Let's go five years again. This was when I initially first bought into it. And as you can see, it has given me a pretty good return. If you zoom in, it dipped as well after I bought it. But as you can see, it has given me a pretty decent return. If you go your investment, I was up about $143. After I made that investment, I am now up $246. Come down. I already got a dividend coming up. But if you have a look at what we bought, we bought at around $13.17. It is currently trading at 
So all the five companies that I have bought into are doing quite well, apart from Fisher & Paykel, which is kind of leveled. But I'm going to hold on to all of them for now, unless if I notice something fundamentally change, or maybe something change in the environment or trend. And that's just the way I invest. Most people have their own style. And I want to remind everyone that just because I went and bought these stocks doesn't mean that you should. So please don't follow what I do because I could be wrong. Investing does have its risk. I was just showing you that investing in stocks is easy and anyone with a laptop or phone can do it and this is how you make your money work for you if you want free money i have a bunch of referral links in the description below have a check to see what you might can get and as i said don't forget to like the video if you like seeing these kinds of videos otherwise i just wouldn't know see you in the next video to see what other companies i'm going to buy if you haven't already make sure you hit the bell icon after subscribing so you will get a notification when those videos become available see you then